I think they took the whole theme of basing it off of a can of soup, maybe a little bit too literally. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Flash. I did not want to see this in theaters, so I waited until it came out for digital, and yeah, I'm happy I didn't see this in theaters. This movie is the accumulation of ages and ages of director changes, writer changes, script rewrites, producer changes, an entire overhaul of the entire DC universe, changing over of hands, firing of producers, Ezra almost killing a couple of people, and it all comes down to this? This is it? This is the accumulation of everything? Is it awful? No. Did it have a very strange opening with people like Steven Spielberg, Tom Cruise, and whatnot being paid to say, yeah, the movie's good. No. <laughs> I'm amazed that my man Andy, the director here, did not just like completely blow his brains out or hasn't walked away from this entirely. The fact that he was able to finish the movie is a testament to his commitment. <laughs> Considering this is all supposed to revolve around the idea of the Flashpoint Paradox, and they kind of do that, but they don't, is such a bizarre film. The film is centered around Barry Allen wanting to go back in time to save his mom because he figured out he could do it, and it all comes down to a can of soup that his dad just had forgotten to get at the grocery store, and by putting that can of soup in her grocery cart, he completely wabba dabba dabba the timeline, goes back to a time where he is with his younger self, everything's changed, and there is a movie here. Whether you're okay with Ezra and their, just the general actions they've done, it was interesting to see Barry as an older self with his younger self and realize just how annoying he actually is and still not realize how annoying he actually is. It's so weird that we got this Barry Allen. For all those of you who were like, oh, Snyder, blah, 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 blah. Like, no matter what your fucking opinion is, I don't think Snyder could have saved Ezra because Ezra's just, I don't know. Ezra worked well in certain movies, like very good in Perks of Being a Wallflower, very good from what I've heard in We Need to Talk About Kevin. But nah, Barry Allen is such a meh protagonist. There's one bit, there is one bit involving wall phasing and a sliding door that did give me a bit of a chuckle. But aside from that, I never laughed. If there was one thing that this movie did get a good reaction out of me was the complete bafflement of how much everyone looks like weird soup. For those of you who are photo editors, you know how in Lightroom you can grab a person's face, their skin texture, and you can go to the texture settings and just put it in clarity in the in just like the basement and it makes people look like faded out watercolor doo-doo that's what almost everyone looks like in this movie in, in all of the cg element bits the director tried to make some sort of excuse that this is what everything looks like in the time force and it was like okay the, i could see where some elements were but no you clearly just had no more money left you, warner brothers finally pulled a fucking plug on this movie there's a lot of people who look like ps3 graphics and some of this isn't even in the time force zone some of this is just in regular special effects stuff michael shannon is here collecting a paycheck i will say though that the girl who plays supergirl is pretty good she doesn't get enough time in the movie but i actually was impressed with what she was given michael keaton's here too he's here like it's cool for those of you who really enjoyed him as batman i'm not a big fan of those batman movies i do give those movies credit because they are the basis of what made the animated series what it is yeah i mean he's here he's okay i think the flash is just a massive example of what happens when you fuck around without a plan and you just have so many people with bad ideas making more bad ideas and those compounding and defeating and crushing those who had a good idea. Something I did hear quite often, and I can't really confirm this though, so take it as hearsay. Uh, one of the many reasons why this movie took forever to get completed is because Ezra was just manic when it came to this movie being made. Anytime there was a script and Ezra didn't like a bit of it, it was thrown out because Ezra had some stupid character claws or some way more creative control than he should have and what's even worse this is supposed to be the restart the restart on james Gunn's dc but it, it doesn't it doesn't really do that i don't know if the idea was to drop a i don't know like a little 
breadcrumb and hope that people would be interested enough to see what would happen in a following movie. The next two we've got are Blue Beetle and Aquaman. And I very much fucking doubt that either of those movies are randomly just going to change the entire thing. I really, really don't know what's gonna happen, guys. Only DC movie I'm interested in is Matt Reeves' Batman, the next one. That's it. That's the only one I care about. I don't care about anything else that's come out. What's hilarious is apparently Aquaman 2 is so fucking bad that no matter how many rewrites and reshoots they do, they can't fix it. And it actually has nothing to do with the rest of the Justice League or whatever. It's just a bad movie on its own, apparently. I found that The Flash was... Uh, it had some creative ideas here and there in terms of its visual presentation, but it really, really shows when you don't have as much of a budget or when, admittedly, you do not have the visual prowess is admittedly a strong word. Maybe it would be better to say the ability to visualize what you could make happen as Zack Snyder did with his movies and with Justice League, his version of Justice League. The Flash is just kind of a wet dead fart. In the end, I'm going to give The Flash a 2 out of 7. I am so surprised that this movie, considering how much it cost, considering how much time it took to make, is this. And the visuals, man. The visuals are just bonkers. Now, I know that doesn't make or break a movie, but, like, fuck, we've got Dune 2 coming out, and that movie is going to look decades better than the Flash is. The majority of the visual effects in the Flash look like they came out of a PS3 game cinematic. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about the Flash. What did you guys think of this movie? Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know. I'd be very curious, because... I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Anyways, I'm doing this review just before I go and see Oppenheimer, but most likely you will have seen my Oppenheimer review before this one, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.